In today's session, we're going to look at how you can add multiple notes columns into your project at the same time. So if I expand my spreadsheet, right click in the heading, go to add column, identification, and down to notes. What I can do is I can type in anything I like into this, uh, this column. So this is a milestone, this is a task, and so on. But what happens if I need to add an additional notes column? Well, if I come up into here, add column, identification, and then notes again, all it's going to do is just replicate exactly what's in the original column because these are both basically the same column. What I instead need to do is create what's called a user defined field. And to do this, I go to my project tab along the top and I go to user field manager. Now, if your user field manager is grayed out, don't worry, all you need to do is click the save button and that will make user field manager available. You then go into the object type and you need to change this to bar. There are a lot of different object types here. They've all got their own different functions and uses, but bar is the specific one that we need for this purpose. Then click the add button, leave the radio option here as a string, which is basically a raw text field and give your user field a name. Now in this case, I'm just going to call it comments. Okay, that, and I can see at the bottom here, my comments column. Now I can add as many of these as I need to. And once I'm done, I click apply and I'll get this pop up. This is just warning you that all of your view tabs are going to close and then reopen as the user field manager is closed. So you'll see everything go gray in the background when I click OK. But then when I close the user field manager, it should all come back. To add my user defined field into the spreadsheet, all I have to do is right click in the heading, go to add column, go down to user fields, and then I've got my comments column listed here. As with the notes column, I can type anything I need to and it doesn't duplicate the information from the notes column. And of course, if I need more text columns, all I need to do is repeat those same steps, go back into the user field manager, create new fields, and then add them into my spreadsheet as necessary. Thank you for watching this tutorial video.